So, welcome to the Skoda Kamek. Now, it's the third SUV that Skoda has produced within the last three years. And it sits below its big brother, the Kodiak and the Korok. So it's got quite a reputation to live up to. So we're going to jump inside and have a look and then we'll take it for a little spin and see how it drives. Once you're inside, and actually it's very, very nice. All this material is really nice, soft touch up here. There are some cheaper, harder plastics down further down the, the car, but that's to be expected. And this nice inlay, it looks really, really plush. It's not like the Skoda Kodiak or the Korok. It's much more like the new Scala. Um, the layout is very simple and very easy on the eye. Now they've done away with the analog dials and they've gone for the digital eye cockpit. You also get this 9.2 inch touchscreen which is lovely it's really easy to use the graphics are very clear and it also has like Alexa Siri sort of thing her name's Laura so okay Laura how can I help there you go and she'll be able to tell you whatever you need to know then moving further down you've got your dual climate control it's really easy to use and if you just press this button here it brings it up on the menu so that you've got where you want your heat going to and your fan thing. It's a very easy system. Now, there are two things on this system that I absolutely love. That is heated steering wheel and heated seats. This is the SEL model uh, and it's a 1.6 TDI and it has a six speed gearbox, which works very well. It also has a nice traditional handbrake, which is great. I love a traditional handbrake. There's some other really nice features. The seats are very, very comfortable. It has this nice little bit of Alcantara on the, on the bolstering here on the side and the, and the seat bolster, which just gives it a little bit more of a premium feel, really. In the back here, there is mountains of room. I have absolutely loads of leg room and a massive amount of headroom. So even somebody over six foot would be able to sit in here quite comfortably. It's got Isofix on either, either outer seats and actually there's uh, an Isofix fitting in the front seat as well. So moving on into the boot and you can see it's a decent size. It's 400 litres. There's quite a big load lip here but you can get a variable flooring for this which will bring this up to this level so you won't have this dip. There's also a really handy little torch here that just pops out and there's a 12 volt socket here. And the seats are obviously easy to put down, just push this lever and fold them flat. And with all the seats folded down, you get 1,395 litres of space. So there's also some really nice little features on the Kamek. So press here in the fuel flap and you'll find an ice scraper also, there's some nice little door protectors which come out automatically here when you're opening the door so you don't bash the sides of your doors onto other people or your kids when they're getting out in tight spaces. In here, there's a secret little hole for your umbrella. And under the bonnet, you have a really nifty little device so that you don't spill all your fluid when you're topping up your windscreen wiper washers. The Kamek comes with two petrol and one diesel engine. There's a one litre and a 1.5 petrol and then there's the very familiar 1.6 TDI which has 115 PS and is the one we're testing today. And I'm really happy to say it's still a great engine. It pulls well and has plenty of power when you need it, thanks to the 250 newton meters of torque. The Kamek is actually much more car-like to drive than either of its larger siblings, the Karok or the Kodiak. However, it does have a slightly raised driving position, so you still get that great all-round visibility. And it's a really comfortable car to drive too. The switch gear is all logically laid out and all within easy reach. It handles well, and there's little body roll when cornering. It's not the most dynamic SUV to drive, but the Kamek does deliver a good balance of keen handling and comfort. 
The steering is precise and when driving solo, it's relatively quiet. The diesel engine does get a bit vocal when worked, but on the whole, it's a relaxed motorway cruiser. Our test car is fitted with a six-speed manual gearbox, but you can also specify a seven-speed DSG. The clutch and gear shift are light and easy to operate, which makes the Kamek a really enjoyable and likeable SUV to drive. And it was really easy to hitch up too. The optional £910 electric folding tow bar makes life very simple. And thanks to the large door mirrors, fitting towing mirrors was an absolute doddle. Once hitched up and on the move, the Kamek delivered an impressive drive. There was the slightest hint of tugging when pulling away, but once up to speed, the Kamek became a confident and enjoyable tow car. Through towns and on open roads, the engine pulls really well. However, on the inclines, you do have to work that gearbox to keep it on pace. That said, on the motorway, it's a safe and stable tow car with no buffeting from other traffic or the crosswinds. And it's an economical car too. We managed to get a solo figure of 54.4 mpg and an impressive 32.5 mpg whilst towing. Well, I've done a fair few miles in the Kamak now, and I can happy to say it's a really nice car to drive. It's very economical, that has got lots of nice little touches, and it's a great tow car too. So if you are in the market for a smaller SUV, and you want something a little bit different, you should definitely, definitely take a look at this. Mm -hmm.